Welcome back. Uh, I've been off for a while. Uh, I think Ritika's mango pickles have taken over. Today I'm going to do a dry dish called a podi or a powder that uh, typically people in South India use as a addition to eat with rice. Now you've heard of podis being made with basically dals but today I'm going to make a podi with chinta chiguru or very 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 tender green leaves of tamarind they are completely dried like this at home washed cleaned and then spread over a piece uh, uh, area either on cloth or on paper and uh, this is how it turns up after i've dried it for approximately a week's time and i have uh, you'll find that they are large pieces then i completely crush them like this so that you don't have too many pieces of the twigs in the podi at the as the at the end. I've taken some oil in a pan, about two teaspoons. I'm taking a rough measure of this, which is about this bowl, putting it here to get the shyness of it. I'm adding it into oil and mildly roasting it. You can do this even without having to add oil at this stage. Even as this is getting done, I have with me, I take about 50 grams of roasted udat dal. Equal quantity of roasted chana dal. I will coarse grind the pulses. To this I'm adding about a heaped tablespoon of jeera powder, two heaped spoons of dhania powder. Uh, you're also free to coarse grind the dhania and the jeera into the powder instead of a soft powder, depends where you want it from. I'm now going to add this mixture of chinta chiguru into the mixing. Since the amount is quite a bit, what I shall do is, I shall grind this first. You would see the consistency, this is how it should be, as coarse as this. You will also notice that you find a bit of the chana dal and the udad dal in pieces visible in the powder. I have uh, pre-roasted and powdered sea same seeds or thin. Uh, I'm adding it to this mixture. Now the quantity would be, if you notice, about if there is two thirds of uh, the leaf, I'm adding one third of thin powder. Into this, I'm adding red chili powder. Again, roasted red chilies and made into a coarse mixture. If you want it less spicy, you're free to use less amount of it. Mix it up thoroughly. Uh, the chiguru that I was talking about is, this is how it looks when it is fresh. It is seasonal. You get it only around this part of the year that is in about April, May. And you take this, dry it completely, bone dry it like this, completely. Spread it on a cloth, spread it on paper after you wash it. 
it will get dried in about a week's time depending on the quantity of course and then get ready and make this mixture the pudi is ready all the quantities here are nothing uh, arithmetic they're all gut feel but obviously because it's uh, a pudi made with tamarind leaf the predominant uh, taste will have to be that and therefore the largest quantity going in will be the chinta chiguru or the tamarind leaf one third of that would be till or sesame seeds roasted powdered and then you add chana dal udad dal salt to taste and green uh, red chili powder to taste i've one more item that can be added to it and some hing into it this is optional you're free to use hing or not use hing and also you can add garlic pods if you like it obviously you will have to roast it in ghee or oil powder it and then put it into this so presenting to you chinta chiguru pudi and acknowledging contributions from ritika abhinav and datu bye for now